uh, let council um, make some comments. Councilmember Austin. Thank you, Madam Mayor, members of council, and those all of you who have come to speak this evening. You know, the world is watching little old Charlotte, North Carolina, my hometown. This time is not for Panthers football, but it's really to see what type of world-class global city we've become. The question is, are we a diverse city that is inclusive of all races, genders, religion, thoughts, perspectives, and orientations? Are we a city that celebrates our differences and realizes that we are stronger together? Or are we a city that panders to fear and hate of those who wish to perpetuate injustice, discrimination, prejudice, and inequality? I say to you, not on my watch. There's been a lot of arguments on both sides of this non-discrimination ordinance. Many don't really make sense. People have been calling this a, a bathroom ordinance, spreading misinformation, half-truths, and all-out lies. Sounds a little bit like the toll conversation we had on last month. You know, Council, the construct of our American society speaks of a foundation of freedom and equality. But our history tells a different story. Our history speaks of discovering America. However, I'm sure the Native Americans would say they had already found it. Our history speaks of a race of people who were enslaved and proclaimed less than human to justify the need of a workforce, and this was supported by the Bible. Our history tell us of women being subjugated and denied full inclusion, or even being told how they can determine the uses of their body. Our current history details of the LGBT community fighting for the ability to marry the person that they love. History will note that we won that one. Tonight, the fight continues in little old Charlotte, North Carolina, for America to live up to this foundation of freedom and equality. You know, members of council, LGBT people are not aliens that kind of arrived on Earth demanding rights. We have been here for a very long time. We are your sons. We are your daughters. We are your uncles, your cousins, your mothers, and your fathers. We exist in your families, your churches, your churches, from the pulpit to the pews. We are in your workplaces, in your schools, in your hospitals. We are not going anywhere. And we're not living in the shadows any longer. We will have equality. So tonight, I will be voting for the ordinance. Now, a lot of conversation about God. The God I know is a God of love. He is not a God or a person of fear or hate. God is love. Maybe we need to all understand that. Thank you, Mayor. Councilmember Driggs, I'm going to have to ask for order. Um, I'm going to have to ask for order. Everyone has been very respectful to this time. Now I would hope that you would listen to the council members who have an important vote before them. And I do have to warn you that for us to continue with this meeting, we really do need to have decorum. Um, we will have people removed if necessary. I hope that is not necessary. And I just uh, appreciate so much 
your attention and your patience. And please let the council members who have an important vote before them explain their position to the voters of Charlotte.